So what would happen if I put steroid in Creed Aventus? Stick around and let's find out. What's up everyone? This is Albert and you're watching another episode of Tito Tips. Welcome to another fragrance review. And in this video, we're gonna be picking up where we left off last episode. And by the way, I'm not paid to do this review nor associated with any fragrances that I'll be mentioning in this video. Guys, I've spent weeks of wearing this fragrance so I could really tell and gauge the overall performance. And so, you could expect both negative and my positive views of it. We're not gonna be doing the presentation since I've already covered that in our last episode. But if you still want to see it, there's a link in the description box below. Instead, we're going to be doing an in-depth review of this fragrance and do some comparison with this Aventus, a great Aventus batch that I have right here after a very short intro. So guys, this is Liquid Silver Holy Grail Edition in Eau de Parfum Concentration by S1CK. And it's, as you can see, it's a 50 ml bottle, but it's also available in 100 ml. Before we go into all the details, I would like to briefly talk about S1CK. What is it? If you haven't heard about it before, it's an American designer brand, fashion brand. And I believe that it's founded by this fella right here, this guy in the middle. Hope you can see him. Who goes by the name Johnny True Love. I hope everyone has found their true love. And if you haven't found your true love yet, don't lose hope. Don't you worry. Because who knows, this might be the key to it. <laughs> anyway, I did not find any information when they started, but the earliest comment that I found in their website was around 2021. In 2021, if you go to their website, you'll find that they design and produce apparels eyewears and customized jewelries but aside from that they also ventured in creating fragrances infused with human grade pheromones that we will touch in a bit later s1ck teamed up with liquid alchemy lab to create their fragrance line including their pheromone spray which is why i cannot tell exactly who's the nose behind this now let's go to what liquid silver can offer and like what many fragrance reviewers said about it and i would agree with most of them this is said to be or said to have many similarities with Creed Aventus because both have pineapple, apple, bergamot, jasmine, patchouli, musk, and birch. Albeit you will not find birch listed in the packaging. If you open this box, you will see all the notes listed here, but you will not see birch. Okay, I'm not sure why. And now let's try it. Yeah, right at the opening, you'll get that Aventus vibe. However, there's no pink pepper note here, while the bergamot, to me, is a bit fizzy and brighter, which is a good thing, by the way. I often associate bergamot to pepper, specifically black and pink pepper, because they kind of have the same um, punchy effect to my nose. And I can also sense this bitter cool feel from juniper berries that goes seamlessly with whatever chiper notes in here which is why to me this is a cleaner and fresher aventus that smells almost like fresh out of the shower if that makes sense now let's go back to aventus very quickly there's a sweetness here that comes from fruit notes mainly pineapple that gives a defined and well-rounded consistency whereas in liquid silver it's more balanced, which some people might consider as its weak spot. But what it actually does is it gives way to heavier notes to be more pronounced, especially starting midway. And speaking of heavier notes, Aventus uses cedar, birch, and abroxan. The earlier batches, or what is called the millisim batches, have ambergris. And I know many of you have tried it before, but due to its rarity, they had to find a more sustainable option to be able to keep up with the high demand. And that's why they shifted into aroma chemicals, which is quite disappointing if you'd ask me, but what can we do, right? But here's the good news. Here's the good news. Liquid silver has ambergris. And I'm not gonna pretend that I can tell 100% the difference when natural ambergris or its synthetic version ambroxan is used. But 
I just noticed based on, you know, my little experience that those that claim to contain um, real ambergris tend to be sweeter, um, have richer aroma and creamier background. Plus, they linger longer in the air than ambroxan containing fragrances. It smells more natural yet savory, if you will. Liquid silver has hints of wood, smoke, and leather coming from birch tar, as I mentioned a while ago, but it's not as strong as what you'll get in Creed Aventus. Although this may not have actual wood notes like cedar or sandalwood, they have cleverly compensated that by putting molecule 01, which is basically a high concentration of isu isu per. And so because of that, this can mimic the smell of cedar or sandalwood. Plus, it helps boost the longevity that the current batches of Aventus are lacking. With its greater longevity, it's said to enhance their pheromone products such as Alpha Q, Casanova, and more. And speaking of pheromones, it's a real challenge to come up with a chemical that works like a pheromone and it's baffling to think about encountering something complex as human-grade pheromone in the air. But I just want to be clear because some people believe that pheromones are gas. You are fake news. No, they're not. They are lipidic steroids, which means they are derived from fats with almost similar makeup as our sex hormones. Yes, you heard me right, sex hormones, except that they get excreted by sweat glands. And do you know that they serve as important communication agents in animals, including but not limited to finding potential mates? Now you know. And that is why the idea of pheromones having similar effects on humans sound enticing. People's opinion are still divided over this, primarily because unlike most animals and insects, we have far less developed vomeronasal organ that detects pheromones. I personally didn't try getting into the pheromone hype simply because as a medical laboratory scientist, I have not yet found a research regarding this topic that provides compelling evidence and a definite conclusion that legitimizes its effects on humans. On the other hand, I cannot discredit other people's experience. So what do you think? Do pheromones work on humans or not? I want to know. Please type it down in the comment section and we'll have a little discussion. And if you are a fan of pheromones or you've tried it before, you might as well give liquid silver a try. Now, when it comes to projection, although it's not loud as much the cloying club de nuit intense, I would say that the sillage is fabulous and it's got a longevity of 9 to 12 hours depending on the weather. Now, if you'd ask me, could this replace... Aventus, and I'm only talking about the current batches, okay? I would say maybe, probably, well, it's quite hard to say, really. It still depends on your preferences, and there are many things to consider, such as the price. And depending on what country you're in, liquid silver is still more affordable than Aventus. Because 100 ml of these cost $371 versus the $450 Creed Aventus by the time this video is released. So I will leave that up to you. And there are tons of tubes to choose from if you want something with a different twist. Alternatives such as Mancera Cedrat Bose or even the Intense version are both available in 120 ml at only $150. And both will give you a solid performance. That being said, I will choose liquid silver over the cheaper clones below $100. However, it will be hard for me to say who will win if Sidrat Bose Intense is to compete with liquid silver. Of course, if money is not an issue. But definitely, liquid silver has an upper hand if you use it on warmer days. Hey, if you're still here, thank you for making it this far. If you find this video useful, click that like and notification bell icon. And also don't forget to subscribe and see more contents like this in the future. And also please watch out for our next episode because I'm going to be reviewing a unique product, a fragrance enhancer by our Kababayan and a fellow YouTuber, Mr. John Greg Parilla, ang crush ng Filipino fragrance community. So let's wrap this up mga chong. This is Liquid Silver Holy Grail Edition by S1CK, a premium clone of Crete Aventus, specially formulated to enhance their wearable pheromones performance. Great as a standalone fragrance with a stellar longevity crafted with contemporary man in mind, leaving an indelible signature impression 
destined to be itched in the memories of all who encounters it. So that's all for this video. Until next time, this is Albert reminding you to keep safe, be mindful and tactful because nothing smells better than a good character. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.